Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today's review is going to be from the house of Mugler. This is a flanker from Alien. This is called Alien Oud Majestu. Majestu? Something like that. <laughs> okay, so I'll quickly put this on my skin. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. Okay, so Alien Oud Magister, <laughs> something like that. And uh, this has a beautiful model. It's very, very sparkly. Uh, the same shape as the regular Alien, but it's like elongated and uh, very, very sparkly and beautiful. And it comes in a very, very nice presentation box. So what does it smell like? <laughs> so, okay. When I smell this, if I were to smell this blind and not know, you know, if this was niche or designer or whatever house, I would be like, this is definitely a niche perfume. It's, uh, it does not fit in with your regular women's designer perfumes and <laughs> it just really is quite shocking and intense in the opening. So what does it smell like exactly? This smells like an a the, a the regular alien, but with the added surprise of a barnyard oud. <laughs> a very animalic barnyard oud. It's not the most animalic barnyardy oud that I've ever smelled, but this being a designer perfume, I think that most people Sniffing this perfume for the first time will be definitely a little bit, um, maybe off-put a little bit if they have not smelled oud before, but they'll definitely be surprised and whether that's in a good way or a bad way is depending on them. So animalic, barnyard oud, a little bit manure-ish, <laughs> very, very dry. This is dominant in the opening. And the oud in here specifically to my nose, it smells like a synthetic barnyard oud. It's also warm and fuzzy, like a fuzzy oud. It's just very, I just wasn't expecting this. I was expecting the oud in this to be a lot more polite. Like say for an example, M7, that's a more polite oud in my opinion. This one is yeah, this is barnyard oud in a polite way as well, but just very surprising. So it was to me a very pleasant surprise since I really like barnyardy ouds. I like ouds for sure, but barnyardy ouds, they have to be uh, mixed in a certain way with other ingredients to maybe tone it down a little, a little bit so it's not too much. But to me, it was well, well done. Uh, very pleasant. I think that most people in the mainstream might not enjoy this opening, but if you are the kind of person who has already uh, some experience with oud, then I think that then it would uh, they would enjoy it. Uh, so definitely not like a mass appealing <laughs> designer fragrance opening. Okay, so as this perfume dries down on my skin, the oud in here definitely starts dying down. It gets much less intense and more musky on me. More musky and even more warmer. So it smells like a musky, warm alien, the, the regular alien. Definitely more friendly, more polite. And to me, it's just like an animalic, musky version of the original alien. Luckily this formulation, this flanker does not give me a headache, so that's a good thing. Um, it does also sweeten up in the dry down. Uh, the oud totally vanishes on my skin very late in the dry down. And then I'm just left with the regular alien, uh, the purple bottle, that's all it is. So. This is pretty much just regular alien with animalic barnyard oud in the top that slowly just fades away. 
do I like this? Yes, I do like it. If I'm in the mood for an animalic barnyard oud, uh, then yeah, I do like it. I also really like the regular alien. So yeah, I do like it. I think this is a, a really nice introduction of oud to the mainstream market, but I think that if I were to guess, this fragrance didn't do too well in sales because <laughs> I don't really hear too much about it. I don't really see it anywhere um, being sold anymore, so it's probably been discontinued. I'm not really 100% sure, but I do like it. I don't think I would buy it though because I would rather go for other oods in my collection, but I think that this was a very, very ballsy release from the House of Mugler. They tried maybe to, you know, take that extra plunge and, and, and put in that barnyard oud, not just oud, this is like barnyard oud in one of their, you know, most best-selling perfumes. And I'm not sure if it was accepted very well by the public, but I think, you know, just the fact that they're doing these things is just very, very admirable. And I really appreciate that. Okay, <laughs> so that was my quick review on Mugler Alien Oud Magister. If you guys have tried it, do let me know if you like it or hate it. What do you think of it? I'd love to hear it. And I'll be back with more videos soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.